plants. They are the fundamental basis of all life on Earth. From the small to something a little larger. We all rely on them whether we like it or not. Whilst plants are incredibly interesting and fundamental to our very existence, they are in serious decline. About one third of all British plant species are in decline and at risk of extinction. Whilst some of our natural habitats that we have left are on the verge of collapse altogether. And so in this short series, I'll hope to show you some of the fantastic plants that we have left and some of the vital connections that those plants have to other organisms. So stay tuned. And so today we're going to be looking at an STI. That's right, a sexually transmitted infection. Plants can have them too. And right beside me is a very unfortunate little plant. It's called common butterwort. And it's been infected by a plant pathogen that is transmitted sexually. Butterwort is the host organism for a particular STI, also known as Microbotrium pinguiculae. And what the Microbotrium fungus does is what it does is essentially replaces the pollen with fungal spores. And so what happens is when a bee or another pollinating insect visits the flower, it transmits the spores of microbotrium infecting other individuals. So if you take a look into one of these flowers here, hopefully we'll, we'll open it up very gently and expose the anthers. And you'll know if butterwort is infected because the anthers, which should be white, are a very dullish purple color, colored by the spores of the fungus. So let's take a look inside this flower. If we gently pry these open, you can hopefully, let's zoom in on those anthers just here that are covered in fungal spores. Now, although these smut fungi may not be too good for the plants that they infect, they are nevertheless important to retain. Smut fungi as a group produce a whole host of chemicals, also known as secondary metabolites. And it's these secondary metabolites, these chemicals, that show real promise when it comes to the development of medications. And so, as well as in being important to retain the host species, it's also very important to conserve certain plant pathogens. And so, I hope you've learned something new today, that plants can have STIs. Who knew? Thank you very much for watching and I'll hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.